not work out the way that you want it to. But if you don't, it should work just fine. I'm going to try to apply it to this side as well. Notice that the further I get away from the original object, the more flickery it becomes. So if that becomes an issue, or if it puts it on the wrong plane, that's fine. Press escape, adjust your window, adjust your perspective, and then draw it out. Okay, so we have six windows and a door. Let's go ahead and utilize, or seven windows, or six windows and a door, yeah. Let's go ahead and utilize what we've done so far and cut these out. So I'm going to use the extrude tool. And we're not going to do every single window. We're just going to do the first five and this door. Enter. Run them through the building such that they're going to the inside cavity. Click like that. And then use the subtract tool to cut them out. And remember, you have to click on the wall that's going to be cut out from, press enter, and then focus in on your windows and doors. And if you do that correctly and press enter, you should be left with the cutouts of those six objects. Now we left the last one here because this is still a 2D sketch, so we can use it to draw some additional things. And what I kind of want is a frame around these windows. And I can't draw a frame here because the sketch no longer exists. But let's draw that frame by using the offset tool and typing in a 0.2 inch frame and then clicking on the outside and kind of drawing that frame. Once we've done that, let's use the copy tool, enter, and select these two lines, this one and this one. Press enter again and we have to specify our reference. So I'm going to choose this edge of the window because it matches the other window. So since I clicked on that edge, I'm going to click at the exact same place but just on a different window. And if it's flickery, just stabilize it and then click it so it doesn't show up on a different portion of this plane. Okay, and if you did that correctly, what we can do is instead of extruding and subtracting, there's another tool, a more quick, efficient tool in AutoCAD called the Press Pull Tool. Let me show you how it works. Just type in Press, Enter, and if you kind of go between those two lines we created where they're both lit up, you can just click on that and drag it. And this is like an extrusion but it's like an, an auto extrusion, like it understands what you want to do. So if I give it a 0.1 offset, it's created that trim on the outside. And we can do that for each of these. Let's go find the center, drag it out, type in 0.1, type in enter. And it's just that quick. So I'm just applying it to these ones. Okay, and if we take a look at the realistic, I pressed escape twice, view, you're going to see that outer frame over there. And we could do the same for this one, but actually that was just a reference window. I was always going to have two windows here. Uh, if you want it to match up, create a seventh window and use that to cut and extrude and then put that trim on. Because right now, if I use this one to cut out that window, then I'm not going to have my 2D sketch anymore. So it's just a problem. But I guess we could just select this and copy it over like that. But I'm going to have a five window house, and I'm going to delete this window over here. OK, let's also put in a door. And we kind of need a door, I guess. So let's just, I guess, draw a rectangle over our door. Uh, and then we're going to extrude that out. But don't make it go all the way through the wall. I know these are thick walls. It's going to be like not all the way, maybe like over here. 
And let's also get like a handle on a fancy handlebar. Use the rectangle tool. And we're going to, on this plane, draw in a rectangle. Then use the circle tool by typing in circle to draw in a circle on this plane. And then we're going to kind of zoom in, click on it, and adjust it by clicking on these little blue dots. Zoom back out. And then we are going to copy that circle, enter, uh, and I will, I guess, click on here and drag it downward. So I'm using that line as like my reference such that I can move that down. Okay, cool. Let's go ahead and extrude these out. So I'm going to extrude out the circles first. And let's just go a distance of like point 0.3. Then we're going to extrude out the rectangle. And also, let's probably do like 0.2. So that doesn't quite look like a handle, but unlike Inventor and other 3D programs, each of these extrusions acts as their own solid object. So if I want to move the rectangle, just use the Move tool, Enter, and select the rectangle enter and then select a line that it can travel across so I'm going to choose like this line and this point and if I click you can see I can move it forward so I'm going to move it such that it attaches with the handlebars it's a little hair off but we can simply move it again move enter select the object enter and then click on that and move it just a hair back Okay, so there you go. You have a handlebar on your door. I'm going to conclude this video, and in the next one, we will add in some furniture and then put on a roof. Okay, I'll see you guys later. Peace.